in this video we will discuss the second example to find the l of f of t here question is find l of f of t if f of t is equal to sin 2t when t lies between 0 and pi 0 when t is greater than pi here also f of t is composed of two different function one is sin 2t one is 0 when it is sin 2t t lies between 0 and pi when it is 0 t is greater than pi means it is uh, t lies between pi and infinity first method first step is we have to consider the basic definition of laplace transform that is uh, laplace transform of f of t is equal to integration from 0 to infinity e raised to minus ht f of t dt after that we have to apply the limits according to the given two functions uh, that is l of f of t is equal to integration from 0 to pi first is 0 to pi the effort is 0 to pi e raised to minus st f of t dt plus integration from pi to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt here we have two different f of t we have to substitute the relevant f of t therefore integration from 0 to pi e raised to minus st here first one f of t is sin 2t dt plus integration from pi to infinity e raised to minus st into 0 into dt here 0 into something is 0 then this whole term will be 0 after this step we have to use the Bernoulli's rule to apply Bernoulli's rule we have to change this integral to e raise, uh, integration from 0 to, to 0 to pi sin 2t e raised to minus st dt when we write like this e sin 2t is a differentiating part and e raised to minus st is a integrating part but see here our differentiating part is sin 2t it gives a solution for every points or every term that is when we differentiate uh, at the second uh, step when we differentiate this one we get cos 2t into t next we get again 2 into 2 into cos 2t it will be 4 cos 2t like that we, uh, we get solution for every term but we have to choose f of t in such a way that that gives 0 at some extent but it will not gives 0 then we have to use the formula we know that the formula integration e raised to a t sin b t d t is equal to e raised to a t divided by a square plus b square into a sin b t minus b cos b t. This is the standard integration formula which we are using here to solve this example in an easier way. After that we have to apply this integral formula here we get L of f of t is equal to e raised to a t here a value is minus s therefore it is e raised to minus s t divided by a value is minus s therefore it will be minus s square plus b value is 2 here 2 a t sin 2 a t here it is sin b t so b value is 2 here it will be 2 square into minus s sin 2t minus 2 into cos 2t limits from 0 to pi next term is 0 next is see here 1 divided by minus s square is s square it is plus 4 1 divided by s square plus 4 is constant to apply this limit take outside that is l of f of t is equal to minus 1 divided by s square plus 4 that is e raised to minus st s sin 2t plus 2 cos 2t limits are t is equal to 0 to pi therefore minus 1 divided by s square plus 4 apply the limits here first apply upper limit before that we will separate the term sin 2t 
प्लस टू ई रेस टू माइनस एस टी कॉस टू टी जीरो टू फाइव नेक्स्ट इज माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाई एस स्क्वेर प्लस फोर एस एज इट इज फर्स्ट अप्लाय अपर लिमिट ई रेस टू माइनस एस पाय टी इज पाय हियर साइन टू पाय माइनस लोअर लिमिट apply lower lower limit to this one we get s into e raise to minus s into 0 sin 2 into 0 this is for the first term next here it is this one is plus 2 is constant e raise to minus s into pi cos 2 pi माइनस लोअर लिमिट ई रेस टू माइनस एस इंटू जीरो कॉस टू टू इंटू जीरो दिस इज द लिमिट टर्म आफ्टर अप्लाइंग दि लिमिट्स नेक्स्ट वी हव टू सॉल्व दिस वन माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बै एस स्क्वे प्लस फोर यस वी नो दट सैन टू पाई वैल्यू इज जीरो And sin two into zero is zero. Sin zero value is zero. And cos two pi value is one. And cos two into zero is zero. Cos zero value is zero. Apply that values here. We get s into s into e raise to minus s pi into zero minus s into here e raise to zero is one. cos sin 0 is 0 plus it will be 2 e raise to minus s pi cos 2 pi is 1 minus 2 into e raise to 0 value is 1 cos 0 value is 1 therefore minus s 1 divided by s square plus Four. This is zero. This is zero. The whole term is zero. Remaining is only e raised to two into e raised to s pi minus two into one into one is two. It is therefore here two is common. Take outside. We get minus what two divided by s square plus four. e raise to minus s pi into minus one. When we take minus from this bracket, we get it will be plus two divided by s square plus four into one minus e raise to minus s into pi. This is the Laplace transform of given f of Next example. Let's see here. Find L of f of t if f of t is equal to zero. When it is zero, t lies between zero and one. It is t. T lies between one and two. Zero when t is greater than two. Then solution. First, we have to consider the basic definition of L of f of t. L of f of t is equal to integration from zero to infinity e raised to minus s t f of t d t. Then we have to apply the limits. Here first one is zero to one and one to two, and third one is two uh, to infinity. Zero to one e raised to minus s t f of t d t plus one to two e raised to minus s t f of t d t plus integration from two to infinity e raised to minus s t f of t d t. Next we have to apply the relevant f of t. We get therefore L of f of t is equal to is equal to integration from one to two e raised to minus s t into t into d t. Here we get only one term because here first one f of t is zero. Zero into something is zero. Therefore, it the whole term is zero. For the third one, uh, integration from two to infinity minus e raised to minus s t into zero. Therefore, zero into something is zero. Uh, then also this whole term is zero. Remaining is only This one, integration from one to two e raised to minus s t f of t value is t 
t into dt therefore we have l of f of t is equal to integration from 1 to 2 e raise to minus st into t into dt which is equal to integration from 1 to 2 t into e raise to minus st into dt to apply Bernoulli is here just change convert this uh, integral to this type integration from 1 to 2 t into e raise to minus st into dt now we have to apply the Bernoulli's rule here t is a differentiating part and e raise to minus st is a different integrating part keep t as it is integrate this one e raise to minus st integration of e raise to minus st is e raise to minus st divided by minus 1 then minus in differentiation of t is 1 then again integrate this one we get e raise to minus t e raise to minus s into t divided by minus s into minus s minus s into minus s, s will be s square limits from 1 to 2 now we have to apply the limits we get here in this term minus 1 divided by minus 1 by s is com, uh, constant take outside just e, uh, 2 into t value is 2 therefore 2 into e raise to minus 2s minus e raise to minus s upper limit minus lower limit then for this one minus 1 divided by s square is constant take outside apply limits for this one we get e, e raise to minus 2s upper limit is 2 therefore it will be minus 2s minus e raise to minus s therefore final f of t is l of f of t is equal to 1 divided by s e raise to minus s minus 2 into e raise to minus 2s plus 1 divided by s square into e raise to minus s minus e raise to minus 2s just take negative sign outside common we get 1 by s square then it will be minus e raise to minus s minus 2 into e raise to minus s here also take negative outside we get plus into 1 divided by s square e raise to minus s minus e raise to minus Yes. These are the some examples to find L of f of t when given f of t is composed of different functions.